so that highly significant aspect as people construct their identity by becoming someone else having a certain physical form knowing others possessing things residing in a specific place and time this identity linked with the material aspect of the three dimensional world where the attention is predominantly focused However, if you desire to conceal the divine within a human being, the most effective hiding place is within themselves. People tend to search everywhere else for it. Hence, you must start moving closer to this divine essence, which gradually leads to a sense of fulfillment. The material possessions like a scooter, a Porsche, or other belongings become symbolic of what you cherish in life. But when the individuals become excessively attached to their possessions, it becomes challenging to move beyond them and create, as their identity is deeply attached in the three-dimensional world. Crisis, trauma, illness, and various life challenges are often necessary for someone to question the true essence of existence. It's only when people feel utterly disconnected and altered that material things like sports cars or fancy meals no longer alleviate their inner turmoil. This is when the soul urges them to wake up because external possessions can no longer fill the void. At this point, individuals stop responding to the specific superficial distractions of daily life like texts, emails, and social gatherings they start breaking free from these agreements and introspect because they feel profoundly transformed they begin observing themselves from a detached perspective seeing themselves as others might see them this is when this they start disentangling from the programmed responses the message here is why wait for such crisis instead why not cultivate a clear focus and elevate your emotions daily rather than descending to your lowest emotional state to understand yourself strive to maintain an elevated state and scrutinize your former self from this vantage point use meditation as a rehearsal for everyday life and you will be better prepared to handle real life situations Once you prime your mind and your body it's time to demonstrate this elevated state in practical situations you have equipped yourself to make a real impact when you maintain this elevated state throughout your day remarkable things will start occurring around you you will find that opportunities come to you effortlessly you become a magnet for positive experiences it's no longer about positive thinking it's about creating your reality as individuals overcome themselves and face their inner fires they move beyond mere pleasure and immediate gratification they start truly loving and satisfying themselves in this state they can allow others to be themselves no matter their mood or rejections without feeling affected this leads to a profound sense of joy as they are no longer tormented by negative emotions that used to make them unhappy a simple scooter can bring as much as joy a sports car because they no longer rely on external possessions for their happiness they cherish the freedom and the experience of life for me life is about creating unforgettable moments and experiences whether it's a sharing and delightful meal with friends toasting with a fine wine or having a transformative mystic experience these are the memories that stay with us overcoming this emotional baggage of the past and reducing the intensity of these emotions is the path of wisdom wisdom is what we take with us as we move forward to new experiences the opposite of love is in fear or anger there is no true opposite to love love is about wholeness the union of opposites and the unity of duality we all have a spark of the divine within us and we have the free will to create our reality every day offers us countless opportunities to do so if i ever get knocked off balance i can sense it immediately I know when I have lost that feeling of connection 
Over time, I have learned to respond less to external circumstances, and this has made me more resilient. The magic of life reveals itself when you realize you are the creator of your own experiences. You respond less to external conditions and you become less of a victim and more of a creator. This awareness leads to a sense of immunity to external circumstances.